imagine you're this annoying photographer using always the manual mode and wait picture and then you you do this here picture and then you did this year, this year, and ISO, and blah, blah, blah. And that's frustrating. What kind of photo modes do you use? Do you use only the M mode because you're a professional? Do you use the S mode, the P mode, A mode, or you, do you even use the intelligent automatic mode? My name is Paul, I'm a German videographer, freelancer guy from Berlin, Germany and I tell you now my photography settings which I use in 99% of my professional use cases and in my everyday today scenario. Photography. Um, if you are one of these guys who photographs always in A mode, M mode, S mode, what's your photo style? Or do you even use an intelligent, automatic, new beginner mode? Um, some people ask me, Paul, what are your photography settings? And I want to tell you in this video my professional photography settings, which I use in 99% of all my cases. What is for me important when I take pictures? I want to be fast and reliable. I want to have a clean and good exposure constant through all my images. That's why I use the A mode. I set my aperture to maybe 2.8, 7.1. Um, that's depending on the situation, obviously, when I want to take portraits, 2.8, open aperture, that we have the nice shallow depth of field. And the, the camera is then set to semi-automatic, I call it, because I change nothing. The shutter speed is then given by the camera and also the ISO value. I use then maybe an ISO automatic and I, I, I use whatever ISO the camera gives me. In modern cameras, especially in the Lumix S1 or S5, are the ISO values in photos pretty good. You can use pictures even up to 10,000 ISOs. I worked with clients where I gave them pictures with ISO 10 or 20,000 and I had never an issue, never came a client to me complaining about my ISO value. And that's how you can work fast. And fast working is often a skill acquired from a professional photograph. Then next team, colors. Um, I have obviously Panasonic cameras. That's why I use a Panasonic color profile. What camera profile or what color settings do I use? I use in 99% of my professional photos the natural color profile. Why? Because I think the colors look exceptionally good in this color profile. There is some <sighs> camera magic in there. You can shoot pictures in RAW, yes, but I sometimes uh, deliver the JPEGs and work obviously so little on these pictures that I often tend to use only the, the JPEGs. Um, some people go in Lightroom, they take a RAW, click on auto exposure and then you have these um, raised shadows and the dimmed highlights which I absolutely don't like. The pictures get then like an HDR feeling that you see everything but often is it nice to have some kind of contrast. And I think the colors in the natural color profile look so good that you can deliver these pictures straight to a client. I had clients, for instance, we all knew some pharma company buyer and they liked the colors immediately out of camera and I shoot an event for them and I delivered them almost only the JPEG, which was uh, pretty, pretty nice and they liked it. And I have often um, the C2 mode, also I have a C1 mode, C2 and C3 on these Panasonic camera and I use often the C2 mode, um, that's my dedicated setting for photos. And then I have maybe on C3 um, a photo mode which is a different color style when I want to take special portraits, then I use a portrait mode where I have a less sharpened image to have better looking skin colors basically and then i switch between the models i i see a couple of, of a group of people and i use my normal photography setting then i say hey let me take a, a quick portrait i i then change my settings pretty quickly to c2 and some portraits and that takes less of a second 
imagine you're this annoying photographer using always the manual mode and wait picture and then you you do this here picture and then you did this here this year and iso and blah 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 and that's frustrating for the client when you use a photographer doing this all the time you want a reliable photographer who is who's professional and knows what he's doing i would like to know what your photography settings are because many people have a different approach when it comes to photos sports photographers for instance they use often the s mode because they want to have um, a shutter speed which is uh, one thousandth of a second or two thousandths of a second and they have to need an extreme fast moving image crystal clear and focus and many people claim yes I want to use only the M mode because that's the only mode where I can say I have really made the picture every setting is then my setting and maybe tell me your photography settings I use the A mode in 99% of the cases when I do sports photography I use the S mode and mostly on portraits I use also the A mode sometimes I use in a studio the M mode when I use uh, flash photography I use then the M mode and yeah maybe tell me your photography settings I hope you liked a little insight in my photography settings we see us hopefully in the next video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from this German filmmaker dude